Guys, we're gonna do Patreon week, and I'm going to go ahead. I guess we'll put it on this side. I don't know which side's better, Lily, Chandra, Elspeth, and yeah, we're gonna start off Patreon week with this box for Jeremy. We're gonna do some fat packs, some pseudo fat packs. This is the stuff that will be given away. Obviously, there'll be more than just this, but it's pretty good. A pretty good summary of what's going to be given away in today this week's patreon i guess this month's i don't know if it's last month this month next month who knows anyways and this altar is pretty cool so we're going to do jeremy first and then we're going to roll the dice so i have a fat pack of innistrad over the gatewatts and we will open a box of rtr kind of so good luck, Jeremy. Jeremy is from Australia, so the way I mail him cards is extremely unique. Uh, mainly, I just send him a bunch of envelopes. He He's gonna get a ton of envelopes, but hey, it got there safely. It's probably the best way to mail cards to Australia because, I mean, A, got there safely and got there pretty quick compared to other stuff. So good luck. I hope, I guess Nahari is the main one that you want to be, you want to get right now. I kind of want, yeah, I want it this way. So good luck, Jeremy. Foil Nahari would be pretty good. I probably should have done this last, that way I would have less trash, but it's probably going to be all trash. I'm going to go really fast through the uncommons and commons. I don't actually ship these to Jeremy, I just trade him something for the cards. Confirm Suspicion, Neglected, and Elusive Tormentor. Um, I guess like double rare is better than no, like a single rare. So I'm going to put this to the side, because that doesn't really matter. But if he gets like really cool foil or a really valuable one coming, I will ship it to him. Right now I just ship him in envelopes of six cards in envelope. He gets a lot of postcards though. 2D Slaughter and Hinterland Logger. So 2D Slaughter seems like a good card, but I don't know, it's, I don't know if we've seen that much play. It's a two for one at instant speed, which is pretty good. And let's go, Season Pass. This card is seeing some play, I believe. And a foiled Masquerade. It's a pretty cool foil. Probably send them the foil. So our first mythic is Seasons Past. I know that this card was being played in a tier one deck some time ago. I don't know if that is still true. It's an interesting card, definitely for a bank control or control deck that wants to get lots and lots of cards. Un Unarch Audic, Unarch Marshall. We'll go through it a tiny bit faster. The, the cards do feel kind of different, the newer cards, over the older cards. I think the card quality is higher. Dove Golf Colossus and a foil, Ember Eye Wolf. So I'll put like kind of the junkier cards here. <laughs> Season pass. Uh, essentially, we just need one Nahiri and then the box is fine. Or maybe an Avacyn. Definitely, they're looking for Nahiri, Avacyn, Kindly Strangers. So another miss. How many packs is that? It's like a fourth of the packs. Which is okay, I mean, it's only 25% of the packs. We still got a long way to go. Ooh, Hydra and a Werewolf. Not the valuable one. So double green mythics. Double green mythics. Probably not what you, what you want to see. Again, just Nahari. It's Nahari and Avacyn. It's those two cards. Engulf the Shore. Shore. Where? It is late. So let's grab. The foils have been pretty okay. The, Two foils out of these packs. 
means we're probably due for a foil rare. Ooh, another, wow. Um, another green mythic. This one is worth a few dollars. I think Seasons Pass is probably the most expensive of the bunts. Uh, Sin Prodder, Air, and Dauntless Cater, which is probably that's pronounced that way. I guess we'll put Sin Prodder here because it's worth a few dollars. This set is semi brutal, and that's kind of why I want to do RTR. I think RTR is much better in terms of value for the same amount. Okay, this one's not bad. Traverse the Underwall, I believe. So all your good cards are in green, or your mythic slash good cards are in green. Man, I just want to pull an Avacyn. I haven't pulled an Avacyn yet from a pack. Airy Interlude, Uninvited Guest, Geist? I would say like an Uninvited Guest, but it's not Guest, it's Geist. All right, let's go ahead and we still have about half, more than half the box left. Bring in a jar. This card is now playable. Sage of Ancient Lore. So our second flip rare, uh, which is not bad because it's not West Vale Abbey, but Brain in the Jar. <laughs> now Steam Play. Uh, Beyond Bulk Mythic, our bulk rare status, which is nice. Uh, ooh, Scourge Wolf. This is a card that I felt would be very good, but it just has not been even semi good. Let me move this ahead. So half a box down and we have all the good green stuff. If I had to pick a color, I would probably pick white for the Nahiri and Avacyn. Ever After, a Curse Witch. So, yes. Man, that's okay. I'll probably send you a Malera. Malera is uh, kind of valuable now. Ooh, Cultivator. I believe the Cultivator, anytime you have mana acceleration, it's pretty good. Delirium, it gets Death Touch. I guess that's not bad, because if you have Delirium, you can actually play him. And he can do more than just, you know, block. Or he can do more than just produce mana. Tyler's Tracker, I know this card is seeing some play in the human deck. So it's all the green cards. Wow, it's mostly green cards. Maybe we'll get like an Arlen. Basically, we have to hope that we get a flip card. We already had three mythics. Oh, and another green card. <laughs> Jeez. Wow, it's pretty much green card. Okay, let's let's hope to get a really good foil rare that might be able to Asylum Visitor and another un, Uninvited Geist. Guest. <laughs> I always want to call that card Guest. All right, let's see what we have. We have a Angel of Deliverance and a sleuth. Not the correct angel. I think we are pretty close. We're just about over halfway. It's not been too bad. It's game trail, take game trail every day. And oh, Soul Swaller is our foil rare. So you're pretty much guaranteed a foil rare or mythic in a box from what I can tell. So that one is uh, another green one. As our green cards continue to multiply on. Drown Yard Temple, and yes. I just hope we don't get Bruna. <laughs> that would be the worst. Uh, as if we literally got all the green mythics. Second har Harvest. And Hermit of the something something. For each token, uh, sometimes these doubling effects surprise you in terms of value. All right. 
let's hope for something good. Visions, Champion, and Snapper. We are down to our last 12 packs. 66% of this box is gone. We need to pull something good. Calvary and Pice. Gonna hold on, I'm gonna open these packs a little faster. Devil's Playground, Village Messenger, and another flip card, uh, Reach Bandit. We definitely got our flip rare cards. We got, looks like three of them. Which is not bad. Corrupted Graphstone. Wowzers. All right, I'm pretty sure we're we'll due for one more Mythic. It's been a long time since we pulled a Mythic. <laughs> Kurov's Messen's Masterpiece. Uh, this watch recruiter is the most expensive uncommon, so I will ship that to you as well. There are some really janky mythics in this set. <laughs> I look at it. Uh, this is not bad. Princess Alverson, thank you for saving this horrific box. I was like, oh my gosh, Jeremy has like pulled nothing good since he's joined Patreon. And uh, Princess Alverson, I was not expecting Princess Alverson, mainly because we have so many flip cards. But now let's just be greedy. Let's go for Nahiri. Then this box would probably be worth it. Oh man, Princess Alverson. Man. Um, from the underfloors, just in you win. Yeah, let's go ahead and let's predict that one of these will be a Nahiri. I feel like we're at five mythics. Or at four mythics. Yeah, five mythics is fine. I can know why five mythics to Avacyn, but Avacyn really doesn't count. Avacyn is... Ooh, Cryptic Rites. This card is worth money, I know that. Thing and Ice. Okay, alright. All right, we got a lot of flip rares and flip mythics. Alright, things are starting to look up. I mean, they were really, really low, so you can only kind of go up. Uh, Town Gossip, Mongo, whatever. Geist, but not really Geist. Alright, so we definitely... That Crypto right is very, very powerful, and I expect it to see more play. Humble Violet's Lieutenant, this card is seeing a lot of play right now. And it's probably going to be one of the better cards. We have three packs left. We did pull that Avacyn to bail us out. She's no longer a $50 Avacyn, but still not bad. Forgotten Creation. What is this? Reaper of Flight Moon Silver. That is kind of a creepy card. But two cards left, or two packs left. Um, Nahari. 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 Port Town, alright. That's not, not the worst. And last pack. So good luck, Jeremy. We did pull an Avacyn, so that's... I was not expecting to see Avacyn. So that was very, that was a big surprise. Flame Braid, hair. Air of Falconrath, and then a Crawling Sensation. So let's go over what we have very quickly. Uh, mainly it's the Avacyn. <laughs> I mean, the Crypto Rites, I guess. So we've got an Avacyn. That's money. Wolf, um, Flip 1. Let's see how many Flip cards we got. Oh the, oh, the box. I was like, oh man, have I been recording like... Wrong the whole time. Elusive Tormentor. This one's pretty good. It's worth as much as the rares. Bandit. Second Harvest. Angel Deliverance. Uh, Ever After. Crawling Assassins. Port Town is pretty good. Father's Lieutenant, I believe, is pretty good. Thing in Ice. Crypto Rights. Not bad. Game Trail is not bad. Tyler's Tracker. Brain in Jar. This one. And then the rares. 
So, oh, we only got three of these. I could have thought there was more. But anyway, pretty good, like, because Avison saved our ass, which it's nice that I got to pull one, finally. Anyway, bye.